All right, so we're looking at a early 70s Simplicity Regent. I owned this for quite a while at the cabin and used it to do work around there. And then I gave it to my neighbor when he had trouble with his. Um, we ended up swapping a Craftsman 12 horse. This was originally an 8 horse, but we swapped the 12 horse into it. And a couple years ago, he said he was done with it, and it's been in his shed ever since. So now it's going to be relocated up north, a little further north. And uh, so we'll start by just washing it up. All right, so that's one first pass at getting it cleaned. It's looking much better. Now I'll just go through the systems and and then see if it'll start. I've got the battery on a charger right now. That battery sat unused for a couple of years and um, out in the freezing cold. So who knows if the battery's any good, but we'll find out. But the tires all hold there. So we'll check the oil and the air cleaner and make sure everything else looks right and then give it a start. And the deck here looks good. I actually replaced all the bearings in this deck a couple years ago. And this may not be the newest, most advanced machine, but this deck will not rust out like you see on the new machines. It's really thick, heavy metal. So I charged the battery over the overnight and it took a charge, so that's a good sign. Let's, let's put the battery in and see what happens. Also check the oil, that's clean. Engine is free. protector on there so it doesn't corrode. Alright, let's give it a try. Nothing. Now the battery took a charge, but what I'm going to do is try something different. I'll get another spare battery out. So that battery proved to be weak. So what I'm doing is jumping this from the truck. Let's give it another try. Plenty of choke. Ready to go. All right, 
it and I'll start. Well, it's going to be spark or fuel, so let's let's take a quick look and see if we have spark. You can see that. Keep an eye on this right here. Let's see if we get any spark. Good spark, that means it's fuel. A bit of starting fluid down the throat. Okay, now that we've got it running, let's see if it moves. It's a no-go. Let's find out why. Okay, this is a very simple system of a drive belt. And that top pulley is the one that drives this thing. And you can see the belt has slipped off of that. What I'm also seeing, though, is that these little guides here, if you can make that out in this light, those little guides are quite a ways away from that. And those guides are designed to keep that belt from falling off the pulley when you take tension off so i'll need to adjust those guides
All right, it looks like we've got a really loose belt. Um, back's up okay, but going forward, I could see smoke when I tried to tried to roll forward. So we'll take a look and see what's going on. All right, it wasn't a loose belt. Um, we got a little transmission problem, and we ran into this when we were dragging it out of the shed. I um, thought it was a one-time thing, but we noticed that uh, even in neutral, the wheels wouldn't turn. And then uh, we got to a certain point and they started spinning. So periodically, it looks like it's locking up. Right now, I'm in neutral. And you can see it, it's locked. So I think I'm gonna have to take a look at the transmission and see what's going on. Upon further investigation, I found the source of the problem and it's actually related to the brake. There is a parking brake on this and it's really tied to this clutch lever. So when that le lever is back, your clutch is engaged and, or the belt I'd say is engaged. And when you want to stop or shift, you push this in and you can actually tip that down and, and it hooks over the front and that locks the brake in addition to uh, taking the tension off of the drive belt. Let me show you what I found underneath here now. That little disc right there is the parking brake. There's a rod here that runs all the way up to that foot pedal. The rod comes down to a connecting rod that comes down to the brake. What I discovered is even when I released that clutch lever, um, this rod was stuck in place. So essentially the brakes were locked. So I got some oil on that, worked it back and forth. That freed it up and it's working great. So that was a cheap, easy fix. Glad it wasn't the transmission. You know, this is my first lawn tractor. I used it to mow at the cabin for a long time and brought it back from the dead at least twice. It's been in and out of my garage a few times. And uh, hang on just a second, start to tear up a bit. All right, there it goes. It's going to a good home. So long, little buddy. <laughs>